Hey everybody, I just wanted to hop on real quick and give you a quick DIY. Um, this really came to head the other day when we had an orthodontist appointment for our kids and masks were required when we went in and um, kids wanted something to make their masks smell better. So I did a drop of lavender inside their masks before we went in and it was uh, too strong of a scent. And so um, I really wanted to think of a way that when these are required, we can make the masks smell good um, and not be too overwhelming for the kids. And then I thought of all my teacher friends that are going back to school having to wear masks and just wanted to help them make their masks smell better inside. And like I've said in my caption of this video, this is not um, this post, this video, I'm not going to allow it to become a mask versus no mask debate. So um, I know we all have thoughts on masks, but this post is not, it's not gonna be hijacked. This is a DIY to help my friends who are teachers and to help my friends who have kids going back to school that have to wear masks to make it a little bit more pleasant. So there are various essential oils that you can use for aromatherapy in your masks to do different things, to calm you down, to help with stress relief, to help with general support of the body, um, to help make you happy and uplift you. And um, I just wanted to show you how quick and how easy and how inexpensive this can be to make it yourself and you can spray it inside your mask. I would spray it probably, you know, when you're on your way to work or before your kids get on the bus, whatever, um, so that the mask can dry before you go. So I am using re reused oil bottles. So this is a 15 mil bottle of whatever oil it was that I boiled, took the label off of and am reusing. So cost nothing. And I got these little sprayers off of Amazon. So um, if I can figure out the link, I will go ahead and put that in the um, caption so that you can get these off of Amazon, but you can find them. I mean, if you just search it on Amazon, you can find it. So let's talk about how you're gonna make it. So you just need a bottle, a small spray bottle. If you're using something larger than 15 mil, you're just gonna have to adjust your recipe. So just adjust your recipe accordingly. But you need a small bottle. I have some Epsom salt here, and then you need water and whatever essential oils you wanna go ahead and use. So I've got some recipes in the caption, but I'll go ahead and talk about them here too. So. In the bottle, you're gonna to wanna to put a little bit of Epsom salt. I'm gonna do it over the bowl, which I know you can't see, but just a few pinches. And so what the Epsom salt is going to do is act as a dispersant because oil and water don't mix, right? Like oil will float to the top. So the Epsom salt is going to help disperse the oils into the water so that when you spray it, you're not just spraying water, you actually get the essential oils in there too. So a little bit of Epsom salt in the bottom, just a few pinches and then whatever oil or oils you want to use for this. So I use Young Living Essential Oils. They are super, super potent. Like I said, one drop in my kid's mask was like way too much. So if you're using a different brand of essential oil for aromatherapy, you might need to use more drops um, than you would with Young Living, but I'm using Young Living and so I didn't actually think about which one I wanted to make today. I really love Peace and Calming, so I'm gonna use that. So. We're gonna use Peace and Calming, and I'm just gonna use five drops. And if you find that five drops is not enough, you can open it up, put some more drops in, or put other oils in, shake it up, and it's fine. So you just put the drops in, and I'm just using five because I don't want it to be an overwhelming scent when we spray it. Shake it up in the Epsom salt to kind of dissolve it in the Epsom salt. And then all you do is put water in. I'm gonna try not to spill. I probably should have a trash can here because I'm not over the sink, I'm here in my office. So this could be interesting, I might spill it all over. We're gonna go ahead and pour it in here. So really the only cost is for five drops of essential oil, which literally is probably less than 50 cents. You go ahead and put the sprayer on, and the Epsom salt's gonna take a little bit to dissolve, but you just shake it up and then you can spray it in your mask. So, however many sprays, oh, it smells so good. So obviously the mist is going to make your mask a little bit wet. 
Um, so that's why I said do it maybe on your way to work if you're a teacher or before your kids get on the bus just so that it can dry. And then it smells lovely. If you find that that's not enough drops, like I almost think it's not enough drops now that it's starting to dry. So I'm gonna just go ahead and add more drops. So now I've just changed it to 10 drops, but that's the beauty of this. You can make it as strong or as weak as you want based on what you want or what your kids want. And so just shake it up to disperse it and then you can spray again. It smells awesome. So that's gonna make your mask just smell better and um, have the aromatherapy benefits throughout the day. So you can make different ones. You can do peace and calming or lavender to calm you or your kiddos down when they're at school. You can use thieves for a yummy, spicy scent that's going to help support the body. You can use citrus fresh for an uplifting scent. Um, I also said in the caption, you can use joy and bergamot is my favorite happy scent, I call it. Um, you can use stress away in the mixture to help with stress relief. Um, you can also use peppermint for um, helping if you get head tension throughout the day, you can help with that. I will say you wanna be more careful with peppermint because you're wearing your mask close to your eyes and the peppermint can be stinging to the eyes, the aroma of peppermint. So this one I'd be a little bit more careful for. I probably wouldn't use this for your kids, but if you're a teacher and you wanna use that, that's up to your own discretion. Um, I would say just be careful with it being close to your eyes. And then of course, you know, when you wash your mask, you're gonna have to spray it again. I would say you're gonna have to spray it every day or maybe even throughout the day uh, to just get the aromatherapy benefits. But the cool thing is, is you can have different sprays for different things and um, use it in your mask or your kids use it in their mask throughout the day. And hopefully it will just help it to make help to make it a more pleasant experience for those that have to wear masks when they're going to school. So I hope that helps and I hope you make them. Let me know your favorite scents and which ones you're going to try. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks. Bye.